Hello and welcome to the All Versity Photography course. My name is Shane and I am going to be your teacher for the next couple days, weeks, or years, however long it takes you to finish this course. We're building this course for beginners and it's meant for people from the age of 6th grade and up, but if you're really interested in photography and you're in the 4th grade or younger, or if you're a lot older, it doesn't matter. This course is designed for people who are just wanting to get started. Now, it's also designed for people using any type of camera. Um, for example, you could do it with my old Roly here, which is an old film camera from the 50s, or you could do it with this you know, couple year old cell phone camera that I got for five bucks. Um, or cell phone that is a can has a camera on it. Sorry, I always mix that up. So the thing is about these lessons is that they're designed for people with lots of different types of cameras. So sometimes that cell phone camera, like this one here, is not going to be able to do everything that the lesson asks of. But I would encourage you when that happens um, to just watch the video anyways and do what you can to learn from it because all of the same principles apply to all cameras, no matter what kind of camera it is. The principles are the same. How they work, the way that you b b constru um, construct photographs, it's all the same. And right up here up front, I think that that's an important point to make, that photography, no matter what camera you're using, is a combination of science and of art. And so you really want to make sure that on the artistic side that you're learning your composition, that you're following good technique, and on the technical side, you want to make sure that you understand your camera and how it's working and why it's doing the thing that it's doing right now at this moment. So I'll try to explain all of those things in this course. It's a lot of information to pack into a very small amount of time. Uh, I've worked as a photographer for over 10 years now, almost 15 years, and I'm still learning stuff every single day. So don't feel bad if you get to the end of the course and you don't feel like you've understood everything. Just go back and watch the videos again, do a little bit more reading. Go to the website, go check out allversity.org and do lots of reading, answer questions. There's going to be lots of forums and things like that where people can talk about the things that are in the photography lessons that we're going to be making for you. So I would encourage you to use all the resources that you have available. I would also encourage you to make sure that you check out lots of good photography. It's one of the things a lot of people don't think of when they think about making good photographs. And in order to be able to do something, you have to see good examples of it in order to maybe reach that level yourself. You don't know what's possible unless you've seen it. So I would encourage you, if you're taking this lesson, to also spend lots of time just trolling the web and looking for great photographs that you would aspire to make yourself. All right, so I think that that's a good introduction to the course. Make sure that as you're going through, you're enjoying the lectures, the practice videos, the real life examples. Uh, make sure that you're working on your composition and going out and shooting. Um, just remember, everybody in the world who's out there taking good photographs, it's, it's a good thing because we all profit from good images of each other, good times, good memories. And so we want to make sure that we're encouraging lots of other photographers um, in, in making good photographs as well. So go out, do these lessons, join the photography community, and take really great photographs.